Hey guys, in this video we're going to discuss how to defeat the Frost Phantom that you can find in the desert after freeing the second Hoth Gufa in God of War Ragnarok. Now you'll find this spot over here, kind of a it's secluded area, it'll just kind of pop up out of the ground and right away you're going to see it does this dive at me. It is a red circle which means it's unblockable and unparryable so you just need to dive out of the way of it. It's very easy to just kind of roll underneath it or roll away to the side. Uh, you can see as well that it does a ground pound here. It, when you haven't done any damage to it yet, it will do only one ground pound. And then on the second one, it'll do two uh, ground pounds back to back once in a great while three. And then in the third segment, it'll do almost every time three back to back to back. So that way, you know what to expect there as far as the ground pound goes. It's easy to dodge. Just move away from it. The second thing that you want to make sure that you don't get hit by is, of, is of course, uh, I'm calling them tentacles. It just kind of swings at you, but they are very easy to just parry or block. You'll see that I pretty much don't get hit by the tentacles specifically at all. I just parry them every time. And you did just see there an attack where it was summoning little ice orbs that kind of explode. You can just hold up your shield and never take damage from them. It's very straightforward and you don't have to worry about too much damage from them individually, but they can add up. So make sure when you do see it like summoning them, you kind of just block it. As you're seeing here, what you want to do to actually get through this fight is build up the stun meter on the Frost Phantom. You can't do any direct health damage. You want to build up the stun meter, and when you max it out, you'll see three pillars in the area that you need to destroy. You can destroy them by throwing your axe and shooting arrows at it. So whenever you do stun the Frost Phantom, prioritize that, nothing else matters. You go out there and you destroy those pillars as much as you can. I only destroyed one, as you can see in that first phase, but we do actually get through this fight in its entirety in only two phases, which means you don't have to worry about only destroying one if you're fast enough. You can get all three of them in just two phases very easily. You can also see here that if you do enough damage quickly, it seems that you can stun the Frost Phantom without full-on stunning it, which will allow you to build up the stun meter even more. I said stun three times in a single sentence. I know that's weird. But all the same, you'll notice that it just kind of lays there for a moment because it, you just do so much damage right here so quickly that it just kind of overwhelms it. So then when it is laying there, you can kind of just go crazy with your biggest damage possible and then build up that stun meter again. Now, you will see the second pillar is in the building just to my right here. I'm going to destroy that with just a single axe throw. And then you'll see where the third one is on the other end of the rock cropping behind my character. Now, I did make it over there in time to, again, clear it in just two phases. You can see the glow of the purple over there. You just run over there, beat it up with the axe really quick. And then after you destroy all three of these pillars, the Frost Phantom will pop up out of the ground in front of you again with the stun meter mostly built up already. Just top it off, do the kill animation, and then boom, the fight is over. Now, I love this fight and I was very happy to discover it. I am ecstatic that they included just a random boss like this. I hope they do more. I love to see this type of stuff in video games. But anyways, guys, I hope this video helped you. If it did, make sure you leave a like on the video as well as subscribe to the channel for more boss guides and full walkthroughs of many single player games. Be excellent to each other. I'll see you soon for more.